Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and it's pie week here, as it often is, and we're going to look through the Magpie Cookbook Sweets and Savories from Philadelphia's favorite pie boutique by Holly Ricciardi, Ricciardi, with Miriam Harris. Let's check this out. I love this cover, and it's even embossed. I can feel it. Ah! Okay, this came out in 2015, so the food photography may be a little breezy, airy, and kind of beige, as I can see. That was the trend back then. It wasn't that long ago, but it kind of was. Let's check out the table of contents. Chapter 1, flaky pie crust. Everyone's dream, right? Chapter 2, fruity pies. Chapter 3, mostly creamy pies. And then chapter 4 is quiches, pot pies, and other savories, which is actually my favorite. I love savory pies. Introduction, there's the restaurant. There's the inside of the restaurant. I hope they survived COVID. I haven't checked. I hope they're still open. Ingredient essentials, tips, etc. Meg pie dough for flaky pie crust. I'm going to go look at that later, but as you can imagine. Oh, and you can use it for mini pies, quiche, and pot pies. I'm just giving you the measurement for each and step-by-step -step photos, which I always love. And I love when they have sidebar tips. More step-by-step -step photos for the single crust pie shell and how to get it in the pan and pre-baking it with beans or I have little beads that I put in it to hold it down. A lattice top pie shell which is very adventurous and I tried it once and it was delicious and it looked horrible but we still ate it. Shells for mini pies. Ooh, I love making mini pies. I might have to buy this cookbook because it's a library copy. Okay, pie fries. <laughs> That's inventive. I remember my grandmother giving us the trimmings of the pie crust that she would bake for us with just cinnamon and sugar on it. Yum! Now I miss my grandma. All right, first chapter, fruity pies. I could just show you a few examples. I don't want to give everything away, but here's a caramel sauce recipe. Here's an apple cranberry walnut lattice pie. Gorgeous photography. Apple, cherry, peanut butter, mini pies, but no picture. Peanut butter, oatmeal crumb, no picture. Pear, ginger, oatmeal crumb pie. Oatmeal crumb, no picture. Pear, chocolate pie, sort of a picture of it in process. Cranberry curd, mini meringue pies. Cute. Very cute. Vanilla meringue. A hummingbird pie. I wonder how that's different than hummingbird cake. Lemon ginger snap pie, ginger snap crust. Yum. Lemon curd pie, Meyer lemon vanilla, brown sugar crumb. Let's jump ahead, apricot cherry. Blueberry cardamom pie with polenta streusel. So that way it's a little bit healthier and has more protein, I guess. Okay, a rose pie, something something. Raspberry rhubarb pie, see how the chapters are color coded? That helps me jump ahead, I like that. White chocolate crumb, hmm. Okay, and this is a berry lavender crumb pie, except it's not done yet. Okay, let's move ahead. Plum cherry almond crumb pie. We're still in the fruity pies, and here's a recipe for buttermilk ice cream to go on top of your pie. That's pretty cool, and ginger ice cream. And now we have mostly creamy pies. For example, breakfast oatmeal pie. Ooh, that would beat the boring oatmeal breakfast I had this morning. How about roasted sweet potato pie, coconut rum pie. Here's a sweet crumb pie. It looks like gingerbread to me. I'm not sure what's going on. Cookies and cream pie. Yum. Here's a chocolate cake in a pie shell. Mm. Cool. Peppermint mousse black bottom pie, but no photo. Eggnog cream pie, a pie milkshake. Yum, I've had those at restaurants before. Let's get, ooh, what's this? It looks good. It doesn't say what it is. Is it the banana nilla pudding pie? Yes, it is. Okay, last chapter. Quiches, pot pies, and savories. Um, don't know what this is because it's said on the other side. Excuse me, I have to go back. I hate that. Quiche Lorraine. Okay. And a herb goat cheese quiche and a quiche a la magpie, croque monsieur pie, tomato cheddar corn pie. That is the first thing I would personally make out of this cookbook. Yum! It looks so good. Okay, and not a lot of pictures. Macaroni and cheese pot pies. That is the second thing I would make out of this cookbook and my kids would faint and they would love it. Cheeseburger pie. Shepherd's pot pies with cauliflower mash. Okay, and you get the drift. All right, perfectly good pie cookbook. Not super comprehensive. 
I'm not sure if there's a pumpkin pie recipe in there, but you have hundreds of cookbooks that have one of those, but I need more pictures. So I probably won't buy this after all, but I'm gonna give it a good look through before I return it to the library. The photos are gorgeous, the recipes look delicious, and it's super fun. That was Magpie Sweets and Savories from Philadelphia's Favorite Pie Boutique by Holly Ricciardi. And you can see more of our cookbook reviews and look-throughs on our blog, cookbookdivas.com. We post to Facebook, Instagram, and of course our videos go to YouTube. Please click like and comment something nice if you have enjoyed some of our content, and that way the algorithms will show you more of our posts. Thanks for watching.